Now I want to create some interaction between my explorer and the fire. Now on my plan, I said two things will happen. The first thing is if he touches the fire, he goes back to the start, but not just like when he hits the walls, he will also lose a life. So my lives will decrease. Now because this will happen to the explorer, I need to code this in the explorer sprite. So I'm gonna click back to the explorer and I'm gonna move my grid across so I can got some more room to add some more code. Now, just like this one, forever touching color black, I can duplicate this, but instead of touching the color black, I can get rid of that by dragging it back there. I can drag in this touching mouse pointer and change the mouse pointer bit to say fire. Now this is where naming my sprites comes in, in really handy because it doesn't just say sprite seven or sprite nine, it says fire. So if touching fire, then go to the start position, but now I'm gonna add something in there. I'm gonna lose a life. So I need to go to my variable blocks and find my change the variable block and I'm gonna stick that underneath the go to. I'm gonna say change lives by and to change it to go back a life it's gonna to have to be change lives by minus one okay it's time to test it out then so green flag off we go with our explorer we can see our lives is on three at the top here fantastic i've got to make sure i don't hit the wall because that'll just send me back to the beginning but i want to test and see what happens if i touch the fire so here we go Oh, I get sent back to the start and my lives have gone down to two. Fantastic. Well, not fantastic, but it means my game is working.